Welcome to Short View Trends, your morning market hit for Wednesday, 2nd of December. What matters today for traders? So what to do with this market now? Well, as Harry articulated yesterday, there's a lot of seasonality in December, often soggy in the first few trading days and perhaps some weakness in the middle of the month. And then, of course, the Santa Claus rally begins in earnest, as you can see from the chart that we've been putting up in front of you. But interestingly as well, quite a few models are back on sale, quite a few of the short term one to two week models. And by the way, all of these models are updated daily in our daily rag that's published via our website, where we update our one to two week views on the market outlook and our one to two week trade recommendations on equity index futures. But in terms of models that are back on sale, I wanted to focus on the put to call ratio today. This model measures the level of outstanding puts relative to calls in the US market, and it picks up call and put option buying both at single stock and index level. And when the index is at an extremely low level, and by the way, the chart in front of you is inverted. It tells you there's a very low amount of put ratios outstanding relative to call. In other words, the market's very bullishly set up. Everyone's quite long calls and not very long puts at all. And of course, when you're not long puts, you're vulnerable to the downside. There's little protection. And that's why it generates a sell signal at that level. In fact, you can see over recent months, it's generated some really good and timely sell signals at the early, early, in early June, in late August, just before the 2nd September highs, in mid-October and around the time of that pullback. And of course, once again, we've got a sell signal on this model. So it's telling us the market is vulnerable to the downside. There's very little downside protection. And interestingly, in that respect, we've also seen a lot of money come into this market in the last few trading sessions, week or two. In particular, the hot money, the short-term money that you see in this fund flow model, which measures the amount of money going into ETFs and coming out of ETFs. And you can see that's back on sell as money's come in uh, into this ETF and there's been ETF buying. And indeed that ETF buying has been helping push the market higher in recent uh, trading sessions the last couple of weeks, as has the continued compression in, in high yield bond spreads and triple C rated bond spreads, the lowest sort of junkie of the junk before you get to the deed of default level. Equally at the same time, the foundations of the underpinnings of this rally are not as good as they seem. But that is outlined in detail in today's daily rag, but includes the dwindling breadth behind this latest push higher. So what to do with this market? Well, for now, it looks like the December playbook is set to play out in this market. To see how we're playing this market and further detail on all these models, please see today's daily rag available to subscribers via the website. So what are we watching today? Well, three key areas. Firstly, uh, focused on bond yields, US 10-year bond yields, backed up sharply yesterday. Price action there today will be interesting. Secondly, Bitcoin uh, struggling to make it above its highs from late 2017. It's just popped above and softened a bit since then. So that'll be watched closely. We'll be watching that closely. And then finally, key macro data and key events. Jerome Powell is back on the hill giving testimony once again. Any further snippets there may be of interest, added to which we've got ADP employment today as well. So that's it from us. That's your Morning Market Hit for Wednesday, 2nd of December. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe on YouTube. Simply search under Short View Trading or follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn and or Facebook. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Trade well.